This is the DJI Mini 2. It's been out for over a year and I've had mine since it came out. This drone did cause quite a stir when it was released. The price to performance, the actual quality of the thing is pretty great and it still holds up pretty well. But there are rumours of a new Mini on the horizon in the next couple of months. Plus with the new Mavic 3 you can probably get pretty good deals on some used Mavic 2s or even the original Mavic as well as other drones from the likes of Autel. Now you might be looking for a good beginner drone or just something to keep personally with you maybe use something at work or you just want to use something that you're not scared to crash and destroy. So I've been using this guide pretty much since it came out and I've certainly put it through its paces so let me tell you about it and see if it's maybe your next drone. So let me start with the reasons why I actually bought the Mini 2. So I used a Mavic 2 Pro at work and I had a DJI Spark at home. And I wanted something uh, a bit more decent, but I didn't want to drop thousands of dollars only to crash it, lose it in a lake, um, and be very upset. So I bought the Mini 2 on launch for its launch price here in New Zealand, and it's been a great alternative to the more serious drones which I'd used for work. So this is my personal drone. Uh, it's the only drone I have right now. But I have used it on commercial jobs as well, so I've used it for freelance work and also at my uh, corporate job. And that's pretty much because of the size. So when you fold this guy up, it gets really, really tiny. And you really can throw it in a pocket or in a bag. So that's the size there. Pretty small. And you can grab the controller, which is admittedly a little bigger. You can pretty much throw this in any bag uh, that you've got. And coming from more serious drones like the Mavic 2 Pro, the biggest downside with the Mini 2 is honestly the camera. Honestly, everything else about it is fantastic. It goes fast. The battery lasts ages. It's built really well. Obviously it folds up, so the portability is there. It can withstand some really significant wind speeds. So I've had this thing at probably 25, 30 kilometer winds was when this was shot. Honestly, I was a little worried and this handled it like a champ. It was really no issue. I was flying uh, straight into the wind and still going forward, which was good. This guy here, it's a 4K camera. It's the same that was in the original DJI Mini, I believe, and it's the same you'll find in the uh, Mini SE, as well as I think some of their uh, handheld gimbal cameras. Uh, normally I shoot at either 4K 24 or the uh, lower resolutions at 60 FPS if I need that. You can also fit little filters onto these. The mechanism isn't as solid as say the uh, Mavic 2s or the new uh, Mavic 3, but it does come a clip on there. Uh, I do have a set which I use of ND filters, which is pretty much a necessity if you're going to be shooting video on this guy. As with other kind of small DJI drone cameras, you do find that keeping the ISO as low as possible is the way to go with this guy. If you get the ISO too high, and too high I'm meaning more than a couple of hundred over a base of a hundred, uh, this thing gets pretty noisy, especially in the dark. So I pretty much keep it at a hundred at all times, and if I really have to, I'll crank the ISO, but it's I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look very good, let's put it that way. So let's talk a little bit about the battery life. So DJI claim I believe it's around 30 minutes on this guy and you do likely want to get the Fly More pack with uh, three batteries. So if fully charged, get around 90 minutes claimed. And honestly, that's been pretty close. This thing lasts for ages. Probably the longest lasting drone I've ever used. I haven't used the new Mavic 3, so maybe they will uh, change that. Yeah, this thing, man, it goes forever. I haven't timed it, but I've never really kind of got to a point where I've flown for so long that I've been concerned about the battery life. Um, and the battery bank is actually really handy. Let me grab it for you and I'll show you. So this wee guy comes in the Fly More pack. You get two extra batteries so you can charge all three in here. Has a handy little readout uh, to show you what state of charge they're in. Um, and you can also use this as a, a battery, USB battery charger which is pretty cool. So you can uh, like plug your phone into the USB port and this will charge your phone or your tablet, which I guess is fun. And you can also charge the drone directly through this uh, via the USB-C port on the back here. Controller battery life, which I don't see a lot of people talking about, is phenomenal. I've hardly ever charged this thing. I won't be able to give you an hour amount of like, you know, how long it'll last, but man, I'd, I probably have charged this thing. I've owned this drone for over a year and I've charged this probably less than 10 times. It's hard to say, but yeah, this thing just goes forever. Right, back to the Mini 2, let's talk a little bit more about the camera and then I'll go into uh, the build quality of this thing um, and we'll kind of wrap up here. So the camera quality is good for video. It's not amazing. I would say it's better than the original Mavic, which was my first like, kind of real drone, so just the original Mavic Pro. Uh, compared to, say, the Mavic 2 Pro or the Air 2S, which are quite similar, 
this really does kind of fall a bit there. So the worst thing is really the bit depth. So you're locked to 8-bit color. The bit rate is decent, but it's just the colors really do fall apart and there's not a lot of room for it, like changing it in post. Pretty much what you shoot really is what you get. And the sensor is obviously like minuscule on this thing. So noise is a real problem, um, whether it's in the dark or uh, above 100 ISO. So it really does work best just shooting in the day, nicely lit conditions, not having to crank the ISO and to kind of shoot the white balance as you want it because you don't really want to be messing with that stuff in post. But if you can do all that, the quality is decent. Like you'll see all this footage on screen was shot with this specific Mini 2 uh, and it looks great, man. Like it looks really good. The dynamic range is okay. The actual sharpness is pretty good at 4K. There's a bit of zooming that you can do in post if you're going to be delivering to say 1080. And the colors look fine. You know, it's not going to blow you on away. But considering the cost of this actual drone and the size of the camera we're working with, it's pretty incredible. Right, now let's talk about build quality and toughness of this thing. So, there are a few things I want to talk about. So the first is that there are a few kind of exposed pieces on this drone that aren't in others. So you can see you've got the micro SD port is just here on the back. It's not under cover or anything. And obviously the battery is here under this little hatch here. But let's talk about actual kind of robustness. So I have crashed this guy once. Um, and a few weeks ago, it was uh, zero uh, times I'd crashed it. But I did crash this a couple of weekends ago. You can see on the screen here, I float into some power lines. Uh, we got a little bit cocky. I uh, didn't see them on the screen. The drone was in visual range, but it was, I was kind of side on. And it was very hard to see. So uh, yeah, totally my fault, my bad. I got lucky. The drone was fine. It came back all good. I did lose an ND filter, as you can probably tell. So out of my pack of four, I now have three. That's what I was alluding to with that little mechanism. It's not that secure, it just kind of clips in. So any sort of significant whack will knock it off. And you can see as I hit the line, uh, the ND filter did pop off and fall into the lake. Now let's talk briefly about the transmission range. Pretty much you can take this eight kilometers away without losing uh, transmission from the controller. Um, and that's fantastic. So that was one of the main issues I had. Really why I didn't buy the original Mini is that the range was not good. With this, I have never had a single transmission issue. Um, always keep it in visual range, of course, but I've taken it way out um, and no issues whatsoever. You can just fly it out for as long as the battery will take you, really, uh, and you won't have any issues, which is really good. So the connection is just absolutely rock solid. And that combined with the really strong wind resistance and the speed of this thing, like I've tested it going probably 45 kilometers an hour uh, with very minimal wind, so it goes quick. All those three mean you can really reliably use it in not so ideal conditions, which is kind of the main thing I was hoping for. Like being able to take this thing off of a boat where it's windy and the boat's constantly moving, you know you're going to be having a reliable signal, you're not going to lose connection, and you know that the drone can handle it if the gusts pick up a bit too hard. Uh, or if the wind really starts to get in. So I've taken this thing really through its paces over the time I've had it. Like I said, I've taken it off in probably 25 km an hour winds. I've chased cars with it. I've taken off and landed this thing on multiple boats in the Marlborough Sounds, salt water, you know, kind of in the air, really windy, gusty. Um, and it's just handled like a champ, man. I've honestly been so impressed with this thing. And really, I don't know what would get me to upgrade uh, from this like the portability is really great the only thing I would really like to see an upgrade for is the camera so if that rumored mini 3 does come out and the camera has say 10 bit color uh, maybe they just take kind of the Mavic 2 Pro camera and stick it on one of these uh, and reduce size that might get me to upgrade but man honestly this thing has been fantastic so if I was starting fresh would I get one of these in 2022 yeah absolutely I would I mean this is really the best option right now unless you're looking for a more serious drone and even if you are looking for a serious drone, if you need something that's more portable and you can just chuck in a bag and go, this is really your best option. I've looked at some of the Autel offerings and while they do look good, I haven't personally used them and the prices seem to be a bit higher than these. So that might depend on your region. But what I can say from using other DJI drones, uh, the Mini 2 is certainly still a fantastic option. And if you're looking for something that's portable, it's cheap, the quality is decent, battery life fantastic, then I would highly recommend you look into one of these and you might even be able to get one secondhand for even better than the launch price. And even if you can't find a secondhand one, it's probably gonna go on sale for maybe quite a good deal. So yeah, thanks for watching. I would highly recommend you look into a Mini 2. And let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got one, let me know how it's gone for you. I'd love to hear your opinions and uh, stay subscribed for more videos like this one. See you later.